All right, so I just uh, received a tectometer, and now we're going to do a little bit of testing with some power nozzles. The main thing I was looking at, you know, was the difference between the battery-powered EBK360 and the corded 360. But then I thought about it, and it's like, you know, well, I have... Well, I have the stuff out, why not get some other well-known nozzles? So we also are going to be measuring the RPM of the SIBO ET1, the Lindhaus PB14, and just because, the Wesselworks EBK250. Alright, and we're going to start off with the battery-powered EBK360. So I'll start this up and then we'll take a sample. And next up we have the corded uh, Wesselworks EBK360. Okay, I figured this out. It's doing that revving thing because it's uh, it has a sensor in it that tells you if it's not adjusted right to the carpet. And it thinks, you know, because there's no resistance, it's not adjusted right. So it's doing that to try to tell you that you know, hey, I'm not adjusted, but I think this will be a lower RPM versus the other ones. Alright, well out of this batch, the SIBO ET1 runs the slowest, followed by the EBK250, the Linthouse, which is surprising, I thought it might be the fastest, and I'm pretty sure the battery one did slightly better than the Linthouse, and then finally we have the EBK360, with a brush speed that was pretty close to 9000 if memory serves. Um, I mean, of course, these figures are... They're interesting, but measuring the RPM of a brush roll, it's really only a partial test because, you know, we're not taking into account uh, the effectiveness of the brushes themselves. I mean, I know one of the things they like to do with Lindhouse machines is they like to disconnect the suction and just let the brush head pick up you know, like rice or whatever, and I know there's a fair number of nozzles that can't do that. So, I mean, I think they have a really efficiently designed brush roll that works very well, and a lot of collectors like the SIBO head, you know, and it's got kind of a, kind of a spiral pattern to it, you know, that draws things in towards the, uh, into the inlet here, and of course it has two rows of brushes as to where, you know, something like this has like four of them, this only has one. So, you know, RPM is really only a fraction of it. And it doesn't necessarily mean something's good or bad simply based on that. But I just thought it was kind of interesting to look at, you know, the uh, these two in particular, since one's battery and one's just 120.